Hi, James from jamesfu.net. How are you today? Me? I'm actually pretty happy. And in today's video, I just want to let you know about some updates about Shortcut. In this month's release of Shortcut app, the video free video editor, uh, the developers actually added a countdown timer. And well, it is something quite cool. Uh, I think I will make, have some use for it and it is great for making certain types of video introduction right to just give it that kind of a movie look so without much ado let's uh, switch on over to this uh, screen over here okay so this is how it works uh, let me just play it for you you will have this right the old style kind of video right before you, it goes into your main video frame so you may find that uh, some people may think that it is well this is just a gimmick i don't think so uh, any things that can actually enhance your video will actually uh, allow you to gain an audience, especially right now on uh, YouTube or on many other channels where individuality, individuality or something unique can actually gain you that extra audience or to attract people's attention. So having said that, in order to do that, uh, to put the timer, all you need to do is to open the file. And Oops, sorry, not open file, but to open other and hit on over to count and here uh, you can check there are some selections there is direction up or down this refers to whether it's going to be a countdown timer or a count up countdown means three two one uh, style you can choose seconds or seconds plus one or frame or time code uh, there is a sound pop or whether it's silent or frame zero and background all right i'm just going to leave it as it is and let me just put it as five seconds and click on ok so now I have this five second countdown and in order to insert it into your timeline, all you need to do is pull it into your timeline. Okay, I'm just going to back it up. So this is my original one. Okay, and this is the new one that I've created. So pretty unique feature and also another feature or another enhancement is that for opaque clips on let's say any video clips above V1, there will be some performance enhancement. I believe that will be in terms of encoding your file or exporting it. So it will have maybe faster uh, encoding right for your computer. So overall, I find that it is uh, good steps for it. And I hope that if you are looking for a free video editor to check or try, a shortcut may be the video app for you. It is pretty easy to use. And I even have a training course uh, created now, you can't compare a free video editor to some of the paid commercial ones like from Adobe or others. But I find that this video editor is actually quite easy to use. You doesn't need to have such a steep learning curve. And there are more than enough features to keep most people happy, right? Green screening, you want to do multi-track recording, multi-track editing, audio as well. So you can do all that. So thanks for watching this. I hope that uh, this video or this video will help you to uh, make a better choice in terms of choosing a free video editor. Until the next video, remember do something small to build a better business. James, bye bye.